All right, we're on another cooking show, Cooking with James R. Henry, and today we're gonna make chili. I've actually uh, put it in already, but what you basically wanna do is you wanna put, uh, we're making a pound of chili, so for our pound of chili, we've got uh, six to eight uh, cups of water. We put about six, and we poured the chili inside. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you boil, and this is to clean and rinse the chili. You want to make sure that you put the uh, chili in with in, in a pot, boil it, boil it for a couple of minutes, and right now it's been boiling for about 10 seconds. And so you want to boil it for about you know about two minutes, and um, then you want to uh, take it off, and we'll show you what you do afterwards. Now this is one way to actually rinse and soak the uh, chili. Another way is you could put it you could put a bowl or a kettle, uh, six to eight. Uh, cups of water to the one pound of um, one pound of um, uh, beans, and uh, you can set it overnight. And you could do that, or you could do what we're doing. And we're doing it the quick way, so we can actually, you know, get something to eat tonight. <laughs> so uh, we uh, so we put six to eight cups of water in with a pound of chili, and so it's been boiling for not a minute yet. And then uh, we'll tell you exactly what you do next. Um, but we're using pinto beans. And this is a two pound bag, but we've actually got a pound bag that we just already opened. And uh, you can get beans anywhere. Ralph's, Salverson's, Food for Less. You name it, you can get it anywhere. Uh, Dollar Tree, if that's what you want to do, or a 99 cent store. Um, and then we, so we've got the beans. We've got uh, chili, uh, chili seasoning. We've got, um, uh, beef that we're gonna add to it. Uh, we're gonna put salt and pepper uh, in it, and um, that's basically what we're doing right now. So we'll see you as soon as um, we're done with this, and we fill it up after this. We'll see you in just a sec. Thanks. All right, we're back. It's been about two minutes, so we're gonna remove it off, turn off the heat. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on another um, thing that way it's completely removed off the heat. You want to let it sit and stand for about an hour. So cover it up, let it sit for about an hour, uncovered from heat, and uh, in an hour we'll see you again and we'll start making beans. Thanks. All right. So once uh, the water is rinsed and or the beans have rinsed with the water, um, what you want to do is you want to drain the water out of the uh, beans, which we already did. I'm not actually going to show you some of the stuff. I'm just going to walk you through it. Um, then you want to go ahead and put it back on the stove with about six cups of water. Once you put it back in the stove, you want to simmer it. Now, depending on who you go with and who you read, simmering is usually around, if you do stove top, around one, two, or three. So, I mean, you get various people's opinions. I went ahead and put it on three. Um, so it might be a little too high, but I mean, we'll find out in just a sec. And if it is, I'll, I'll lower it. But uh, it's anywhere from one to three is usually what people are saying. Um, so I went ahead and went with three. And so, and then you of course want to tilt the lid on there. You don't want to put it completely on there, but you don't also want to have it open. You want to you want to put the lid on there and tilt it. So we've got an opening right here. Uh, it's tilted, it's on there and tilted. Not completely on there. You want to, you want to just tilt it. Now I'm not able to get back on there. There we go. You want to tilt it. So. Uh, once you do that, then you set it on there. Now, this usually takes around one and a half, two hours uh, to do, depending on uh, the stove and, and how you're simmering. Uh, once it's once it's uh, tender, then you want to go ahead and uh, cook some other stuff, like the meat and the other stuff, almost tender. Um, actually, almost tender, you want to put the stuff in there. Uh, in just a bit, we're gonna start cooking the meat and get it all all ready and stuff. So, um, but when it's almost tender, you want to put everything into the bowl and you want to mix it up and and what have you. So, anyways, um, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to talk to you as soon as we come back to start cooking the meat. So, see you in just a sec. Thanks. All right, so now we're ready to go ahead and uh, make the beef. Um, the beans are a little tender. Uh, so what we're gonna do, yeah, we're gonna start with the beef. What I like to do is I like to make sure that the 
the pot is already being heated, so we, we went ahead and turned it on. I went ahead and lowered the bean, or I raised the beans, sorry, not lowered. I raised the beans to about four and a half, um, uh, four and a half on the number, just so it'd get a little more, uh, it would speed up a little bit. So that's what I did on that. So we got the beef here. And we just kind of toss it on here. This is See if it is good. Very delicious. So there's where we turn off the uh, stove. We go and drain the uh, grease right out. We also have now, some people use whole tomatoes. We don't actually have whole tomatoes, so we're gonna use, if I can get it out of there. We're gonna use uh, peeled tomatoes that will actually do the trick also. When you put the tomatoes in there, you don't actually wanna use um, uh, the juice. You just wanna um, go ahead and just put it in there. So you get a can opener. You go ahead and open it. Tomatoes. Put the can off there. Okay, and then you got tomatoes. We take a spoon and we go ahead and grab some tomatoes and put it with the beef. Should be good for the beans. So we'll go ahead and put that down. And we have a pack of chili seasoning right here that we'll also add to this right now because I'm going to mix it in there. We'll stop. Well, actually, no, no. Actually, we still want it to go. We're going to lower the temperature down to around 2. Combine all this, these ingredients. Complimentary a minute and out, we're gonna throw a few of these in there. Alright, so now that they're cut up. We're gonna go ahead and toss them in there, just like that. 
and go and mix those in there. We didn't put too much. We just put a few packages, which is like eight or something. So it's not going to be that much because one of us don't like hot stuff. I love hot stuff. I'll throw them all in here. But all right, so once they're all mixed in, looks good. You can shut off the um, oven or the stove. And now, ladies and gentlemen, chilies are, well, you can probably put a little bit more tomatoes in there. Though. So just toss as much as you want in there. Just, you know, make it look good. Just like that. Should be good. Put it there. And actually, we're missing two ingredients. Salt and pepper. So you take the salt and you put it in there. Mix it around. A little bit more. Then you put some pepper in there. That's the chili that we just made. Ooh, all right. Nice, has, has a good spice to it. And we're done. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for watching another show of Cooking with James R. Henry. But today's show was chili. Tomorrow's show, who knows what. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good day.